hot enough. So you can get away with it now and you just start on the cross. What you see when you reach the middle where the meat is, you have to be careful because the meat hot, it will burn you. Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Natural Living by Inovi, where I show you how easy it is to prepare your favorite meals with healthy options, driving directions around Jamaica, self-care, home care, and so much more. My focus is always on a healthy lifestyle and discussions on how to maintain a positive mindset. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Subscription is free, so all you need to do is press that red arrow at the bottom of the video. What are you selling? Where do you get sorrel from? I'm mean, going to have time for making this sorrel now, but I'll give you a change. Guys, I'm so hungry. I'm just waiting on this patty and the line is taking I'm at the drive through It is taking forever. I think I would have gotten too quicker if I had gone inside, but you know, sometimes you don't want to come out of the car. So I will continue to wait. I'm about two cars away from paying for my patty. Okay guys, it's almost time to get my patty and cocoa bread. I think I might buy two cocoa bread because I think I want to. I'm almost out of bread and I think I want to have make some sandwich with the cocoa bread. The other one over the weekend. So that could be nice. I'm tired. I hope I look okay in this video because I'm so tired. Today is Friday. It's been a long week. And um... I, you know it's month end so we had to finish up our month end reports for our meeting next week so and then I have to chase down people to get information you know um, so let's go I'm gonna pay for my party hello Can I get um one one beef patty and a cocoa bread and a soda plus an extra cocoa bread? Soda in the bottle here. The one beef patty, a cocoa bread and a soda and an extra cocoa bread. Yeah, I want the soda in the bottle. Okay. Glory of God too, because I'm a Christian. I'm actually yeah. blessing for you. Yeah, it makes it not feel so stressed. A lot of things happen, you will just say, God will take care of it, you know. So you don't worry as much anymore. Sometimes some things happen to you are really bad. And I say, it just make me stronger. You know, that's how I see it now. One time with a friend and so. Sometimes something happens, and I say, me say, oh, I forgot to fix this. I'm going to just stop and I say, God. I'll leave this up to you to deal with it for me. Just let it go. If you're not answered, well, that is, he must know why. Yes, and that happened to me a lot. So a lot of people don't know, but that happened to me a lot. Yeah, but you just keep it to yourself. Yeah, I'm just for sure. Yeah. yeah, and you get peace. Even if you don't have the money, so but you get you have peace. Sure. And nothing like peace. You, if you're at home, you just feel peaceful and yeah. happy. Yeah. yeah. You know, so. Alright, alright, take care. Yeah, same to you. Yeah. Alright. You're here. Here, so I don't hear so. Hi. 
Um, it's two coffee breaks, so one of them must be in a separate bag here. Alright. Um, you have any cola champagne soda? Or, uh, okay. Yeah, cola champagne soda? Well, uh, come on, have cola champagne. You have kind of cold, cold, cold? cold. That is the ice? I'm not sure about ah, give me cold, cold, cold. Things I do, let's see if I can park here. So, or I think I'm gonna park. I'm gonna drive and, and, and eat, but I just want to park. Something feel funny on my car. I'm gonna go check my car with you because I drove over something. Bottle is not a messy man. Pineapple soda, BNG pineapple soda, nice. So you can have your treats, you know. Although people say you don't have to eat this, you don't have to eat that, but it's really eating the whole bag of rice and and the starch that really eat with your dinner late at night, especially that makes you put on weight. If you can, you can just you have to know how to balance it, you know. I'm gonna check my car tire and see what happened. Don't mind me, I saw me do my thing. <laughs> my family understands me, I always a sanitize. Okay, it looks okay. because I can't drop they didn't sometimes I put the packet and the cocoa bread in the bag together but I guess because I bought two cocoa bread they were maybe a little confused I wasn't sure what to do so what I'm gonna do is um they put each cocoa bread in a bag and a patty the patty in a separate bag so what I'm gonna do is pass the cocoa bread when they're gonna be it's like a circle and then they fold it and bake it they put butter in the middle and then um so you can open it there's a space wipe off my hand good i don't really like holding my food with my hand even if this is my cup of bread right and that's the space to put the patty the space to put the patty but I'm not gonna put the patty in the space I'm gonna put the patty beside the cocoa bread you want to know why because I love eating a patty by itself too but I'm just feeling a little greedy why I'm having the patty and the cocoa bread that's a lot of starch and it's Friday so I'm putting the patty beside the cocoa bread so that when I bite the patty I can taste the patty and I'm putting it on top too so when I bite the patty I can taste the patty if I put it in the cocoa bread it's bread on top bread on bottom and you're searching for the patty taste in the middle but when I do it like this I get the crunch of the patty and the bread is there so complicated or so does it make sense well that's my thing so let me take a bite because I'm gonna drive and eat Mm hmm. Hot So, if you can get away with it now, and you just start on the cross, what is it? When you reach the middle where the meat is, 
You have to be careful because it is hot, it will burn you, burn you. So. I'm going to keep this slow down. Well, I really took my long in the line for half an hour. Good. And how my thing is, some people push up the the pasty or the cocoa bread in the bag. I like to tear the bag at the side. Usually I got one tear and then I fold it down. That way the crumbs collect in the in the bag. But we don't waste our pasty crumbs in Jamaica and we eat everything. I thought somebody liked it. Okay. Why this party tastes extra nice today? I'm not sure if it's because we're doing the video. Sweet bun. Okay, let's continue. After this, I'm not gonna. It's getting a little dark, but not totally. So I hope I have good lighting. Mm. I have that for traffic before me. Very careful. Sometimes Jamaica people drive me yesterday, wouldn't even give a little. A little blind. That's what you, what you call giving a little pass in your country. We call it a little blind. So. So I went to this other doctor and he did a video on that. Um, doctor, I'm gonna write the name. I don't, I don't want to mess up his name. He's on Melines Road. Babolal, Doctor Babolal. Over ten months, about ten months in on my shoulder. I think I had a strange shoulder, and I did an MRI and it didn't show anything. So maybe it had healed, whatever it was. But because I wasn't using my arm. When you can't you weren't using your arm because of the pain you get what is called a frozen shoulder so some um some tissue forms like i think it's in the muscle or between the bone and the muscle or something where they're about and when that happens then um even a lady at pass when that happens the um they have to break up that tissue that's formed because it starts to hold your shoulder you know so i couldn't put my hand up beyond a little bit up so even the mornings when i'm combing on my hair to pull my head down comb my head here forward and just put a bun on here i couldn't hold my hand back like this 
and just one visit to his office you know and he told me I was gonna feel a lot better before I left I couldn't believe him because I tell you it's months of pain you know and I could I never get a good night's sleep because if you turn on you know make a little funny turn I couldn't sleep on this side at all and um, sometimes I just shift in my sleep and I feel that like job in pain it was such a rough time for me guys so anyway he said that um, by the end of the office visit about a half an hour or so I could lift my hand up a little more like about maybe I was about 70 per to 80 so I was feeling up I couldn't believe it my, my, my arm was just about 70% better so anyway he gave me some exercise and some stretches and some med medication it was like some pain medication because he did some procedure he said no, no surgery or anything just physical stuff so I said, and I had to do the stretches to break up that tissue too, so that would cause me some pain. And but I didn't feel any pain when I got the, the because he gave me some painkillers, so I was doing really, really well. So for two weeks, I just had to rest. And I was on vacation. I had lots of plans. It was before our independence. I said no, I could even get to do my little holiday cleanup at home. I just had to rest my arm and heal. So much better, so much better. I'm about 90 something percent because I don't really feel any pain. But um, I mean, sometimes I don't get into my exercises. But he said it can take between traffic that is people passing left and right. He said it can take even up to two years to heal but there's a plan to do what they call some manipulation therapy like at this place in Jamaica but which might make, make it heal quicker or maybe I should just do my exercises more so I'm going back to my party what I love about the party it's not pepper but it tastes the pepper, what is the flavor of the Scotch money pepper? Just just enough without being like hot. So even if you don't really like pepper, you just have that Scotch money pepper has this special flavor. It's if you have to taste it to know it. just you can drive and eat it 
by the time I reach home, I might buy a burger sometimes. So by the time I reach home, I don't have to be, you know, stopping to eat again. I can just then shop. Let me eat first. Yes, so by the time I reach home, I just shower and then I can just have my Friday evening to do whatever I want to do. If I'm going to do a video or, or, or edit my video or just relax, I love to watch YouTube videos, so I do a lot of that. Notice the crust is just... It's really filicky pastry. Um, how flaky pastry is made. So I to roll the dough into like an oblong sort of thing. I don't remember if it's a third or a quarter of the fat, like the butter or so. That you mix in the dough first and then you lay out the dough like in a triangle. Two thirds of that you put a third of the butter on or a quarter whatever it is and then you fold it up fold into three so it must have three layers when you fold and then you roll it out and you do it again until all your butter is used up that's how you get your flaky pastry with all these layers and layers of of um, flakes or so I'm gonna enjoy my party and stop the talking. I hope you have a good evening. Let me know what kind of party is your favorite. Let me know if you like cocoa bread, if you've ever had cocoa bread. And most Jamaicans, when they travel, when they come back, even before they reach home, they want to stop at a tasty or juicy beef or wherever it is their favorite party places or mothers. And buy a party, but I like mothers has this thing where they put they open the party and they put um, a slice of tomato and lettuce in between, and uh, and that's a nice pat a nice little patty sandwich. Like, and some people love cheese patty. It's the same beef patty. It's like minced minced beef, but they put cheese in there. So I like that too, but I like traditional stuff. The thing is with me is that if there's something I really love, I don't really change up that much. Like some people will go and buy, like if it's ice cream, they go and buy different flavor ice cream all the time. And I'm gonna get grape nut almost all the time. I'm gonna get grape nut unless I don't have grape nut. And, or some other ice cream with fruits and nut, that sort of thing. All right, I'm gonna eat, eat my patty and stop the talking. My neck is a little stiff from the, the sick shoulder because it affected my, my other shoulder and my neck because I had to be, you know, but the position I was holding my neck in while I was sick, my shoulder was sick and because I was just speaking out in certain positions.
silence, I don't really eat a big lunch. Because I know I'm going to have something with a lot of calories. So let me know in the comments what you like to have your um, patty with, what kind of drink, which patty is your favorite, what kind of drink you like, if you want an orange juice or a box juice, fruit punch, orange juice, or you want a cola champagne or cream soda, Pepsi or Coke or what else, Coke, cola champagne I said, uh, pineapple. Any soda. Some people like to have a thing that's a Jamaican grapefruit drink with carbonated fruit. Luckily, this because I've been talking. The party got a chance to cool down, so normally there's, a, there's an art to eating a hot party. You have to be blowing on it or you bite it hot and then you have to be cooling it while you're eating it. It's really, there are a lot of funny videos on eating a Jamaican party. A hot Jamaican party. Oh guys, gas price is going up again. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna start wearing contacts again. I have contacts you now, but I have to get back into the habit of wearing them. Because um, I need to wear them before they expire. Because I stopped wearing them during the, the lockdowns and all of that was happening. Look at this person now. Coming over right at the top of the line. Jamaican people drive away but they say they don't have any behavior. Don't join the line you now and then they come right up at the intersection to come over. And I just let them go because it's an ego thing. I'm not going to let them upset my mind. I drive a horn, so. Some Jamaicans, when they're driving, it's like they're in competition with themselves. They are so silly. from my soda though is with like some ice in it not too much because if it has too much ice in there when you open it it will just um, spew out and make a mess but I love it with a little ice like it's very cold so when you open it you just see the little ice particles start to form that's like my favorite favorite way to drink a soda but I've been controlling myself I used to like to drink a soda 
almost every day. But then I sold a high a lot of calories. And it's you know all that sugar in the system all the time. So it's okay to have a treat if you don't if you just drink water or fruit juices all the time, more power to you. That's great. But a good thing for me is that I don't get tempted to overdo it because if you if you sort of prevent yourself or stop yourself from eating anything which is unhealthy when you do feel like you don't have any control and decide to eat the unhealthy things you might just overdo it you know and that's what they call binge eating you know I did want some ackee the ackee man there are lots of ackee I buy the ackee, I like to go home and pick them same time and I don't let them pluck them out of the little pink thing no I don't like it to handle in my ackee because ackee can't take a lot of washing I just give them a quick rinse to put them in the hot water but I don't like it to handle in my ackee I didn't finish telling you why I was telling this story about my arm because I couldn't lift my hand I couldn't get to color my hair because I color my hair myself so and then I was saying oh let me see how long I can go without coloring it but no I think I need to get it colored now I don't want to look at me looking too old but I guess eventually I will stop coloring it I use the ammonia free coloring so starting stories are not finishing them oh I was telling about the contacts right um contacts the eyes have to gradually get accustomed to contact lens they may be start for three hours and then you gradually, gradually work up otherwise for me my eyes will get all red and start burning or feel like the contact is sticking in my eye so I buy the ones that you, you dispose of each day but I still can't do much reading with contacts because I do a lot and lot of reading and report writing and so at work. 
so and I don't like driving at night with contacts so I'm not so bad I went to this really great specialist the last time and I think her prescription was really pretty good so it wasn't so hard for me to drive at night with them so I think when I'm doing videos I'm gonna stop wearing my glasses I think I look much so much younger when I don't wear glasses so I will try my best to start wearing back my contacts and also have to wear them before they expire I have this one finished but I have a little piece left to go cover it oh guys it's dark it's not that dark and it's the angle Just like that, I'm home. Pretty dark, let me see. Okay, you can see me still. Don't finish the pack yet. Not this side. So I have like just a little bit left. So I have a little bit of pack here. Lots of meat. So I'm not left with only bread. I'm just taking up a few little crumbs that fell on my seat, just a few. You know, and that's the reason I wrapped my car seats. I got cupboards for them because. When I just locked my car, my nieces and nephews were in my car and took them to get patties. And they wanted it to eat the patties at the same time and I said, no, you're going to mess up my car. So my nephew, he was so disappointed, he really wanted to have his patty. And I felt so, so bad. So I wrapped my seat, so I said, I'm not going to restrict them from eating whenever they want in the car. You know, children must have fun. So I've been eating and talking with food in my mouth, but that's how it is. How else would I show you how I eat a Jamaican patty and cocoa bread? Still have how much of the soda? About a half of the soda left. Let's have a few more sips of it. And thank you. So take care. And until next time, next video. Alright, remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. See that little arrow down the bottom of the screen? That's all you need to touch to subscribe. You don't have to go to the sub, go back out of the video. You just touch that little arrow, that little red arrow at the bottom of the screen, and you will, sub you will be subscribed. And you can click on the bell too so you can know when I have a video coming up I have lots more new stuff coming out and I'm gonna show you so much more and let me know if you want to little business tips and stuff like that because I'm a chartered accountant I'm an auditor by profession I'm into risks and controls now not named an auditor as such not for this what I'm doing right now 
so I can't tell you about businesses and all of that how to because a lot of people are watching and they have I know you have businesses even if you are a youtuber you need to understand certain things about business right um, business controls to prevent fraud and risk and stuff like that to reduce the risk right all right um so until next time remember natural living by innovate like subscribe share and leave your comments let me know what you would like to do videos on too you know and all of that all right bye